Hello and welcome on BOI Weekly today. Bank of Industry joins the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, Socrates State Government, major stakeholders as well as the rest of the world to celebrate the 2018 MSME Day. The World MSME Day is set aside every year by the United Nations to celebrate the contributions of MSMEs to sustainable development globally. Also on the program today, fresh beneficiaries of the Government Enterprise and Empowerment Program, also known as Jeep Market Money in Socrates State, receive certificates in the latest round of cash disbursements under the Government Social Intervention Program of interest-free loans targeted at micro-enterprises. I am Kaya Dialayande. Welcome to the program. We have details in just a moment. Even though micro, small and medium enterprises drive every economy, a large percentage of them remain unstructured, causing them to perform suboptimally, suffer needless losses and often unable to take advantage of financing and sundry opportunities available in the marketplace. Aside from this, young people, most of whom play at the MSME level, lack the technical competence required to make their enterprises adequately competitive. The United Nations knows just how pivotal young people are to any nation's economy. That's why it centered this year's celebration of the MSME Day on Youth Entrepreneurship and Employment. At this event, to commemorate this year's MSME Day, the focus is on promoting MSME's compliance to conformity assessment and standards requirement in the Trade Facilitation Agreement for Economic Growth in Nigeria. <laughs> Organized by UNIDO in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment and the Sakwato State Government, this gathering is about raising compliant MSMEs that run in a way that grows and sustains the economy. In his welcome address, the UNIDO representative to ECOWAS and regional director, Nigeria Regional Office Hub, Mr. Jean Bakoli, calls on all major stakeholders to support its country program and assured that UNIDO will continue to partner with the relevant authorities and stakeholders to promote MSME development in Nigeria. We as UNIDO, we are committed to do whatever we can do to bring, to expand the partnership, to bring a number of uh, traditional partners, to bring the institutional partners to support this country program. And we know that the government of Nigeria is already committed again to support this country program. I think this is clearly shows the role of Nigeria being the biggest economy in Africa. And there is no way Nigeria can move ahead about this economy if Nigeria cannot further industrialize. So we need to move ahead. We need to benchmark. We need to bring many partners, as I said, across the country, not only in the south, but also in the north. And we would like really to seek also your kind support uh, through your various activities at your each level to ensure that this country program is going to make an impact to support the economic development of the country. So, Your Excellencies, I would like to, to stop here by once again reconfirming my passion for this country, reconfirming my optimism for this country to support and really to accelerate the role of the SMEs to support the industrialization. I know that if we work together, we can move ahead. If we try to bring what is the best in our re different regions, in other regions, then the country can move ahead progressively. The economy of the country cannot be unbalanced. It can be well balanced across the whole country. Representing the Director General of the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria, Smidon, Dr. Diko Umar Rada, Mr. Sundi Alu highlights the agency's contribution to the growth of MSMEs in the country. Of course, in Smedan, we cherish partnerships and collaborations in uh, delivering our mandates. That is why we cherish our partnership with UNIDO. We've, the UNIDO has helped us in uh, several platforms to undertake 
to achieve our mandates, especially the issue related to the subcontracting and partnership exchange, which is an electronic platform for matching micro, sorry, MSMEs and uh, large enterprises in terms of uh, value chain development. So we thank the UNIDO and still hope to work towards uh, other partnerships with them. Since UNIDO has always been partners in progress with government at various levels in Nigeria, the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, as well as other bodies, recognize its contribution to MSME's development in the country. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in her keynote address, the Minister of State, Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, Haji Aisha Abubakar, says the federal government is committed to working with all stakeholders to address the challenges militating against the growth and development of MSMEs in Nigeria. We are all aware that more than 95% of enterprises in the world are micro, small and medium enterprises, and they account for 60% of private sector employment. Hence, you will agree with me on the need to recognize the critical role they play in achieving global development. It is in this respect that the United Nations General Assembly with a membership of 193 adopted a resolution without a vote to observe an annual micro, small and medium enterprises day on the 27th of June every year. This is with the hope of raising up awareness on their contribution to the 2023 agenda. Furthermore, the need to support MSMEs now becomes imperative with Nigeria's ratification of the Trade Facilitation Agreement signed in 2017, which made Nigeria the 107th member country of the World Trade Organization to have done so. You will recall that the TFA contains provisions for expediting the movement, release, and clearance of goods, including goods in transit, and according to a 2015 study by the WTO, the full implementation of the TFA would reduce members' trade costs by an average of 14.3%. The TFA also has the ability to reduce the time it takes to import goods by over a day, as well as the time it takes to export goods by almost two days. The full involvement and participation of MSMEs in the current diversification drive of His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, makes it a must to ensure the implementation of the TAA for the benefit of our local industries. This is why the federal government of Nigeria, in partnership with UNIDO, is committed to providing the required support towards the successful implementation of the provisions of the TFA articles, specifically those that require standards, conformity, assessments, and compliance with technical regulations. Governor Aminu Tambuwal, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Tourism in Sakwato State, Alahaji Bande Mohamed Rikina, says the state is collaborating with UNIDO to implement the several learning initiatives for entrepreneurs. To ensure that there is a focal point for issues relating to SME's development, the state government established the Sokoto State Small and Medium Enterprise Development and the Microfinance Agency. <laughs> Charged with statutory mandate to promote, evolve, and implement policies and programs aimed at facilitating development in micro, small, and medium enterprise subsector. In order to facilitate access to finance for SMEs, improve capital injection in the hands of entrepreneurs, as well as the activation of some money bound industries in the state, the state government signed MOU with Bank of Industry for the disbursement of two billion micro, small and medium enterprise development loan. As I, as I speak with you, the Sokoto state government has already completed all the necessary arrangements for the disbursement of this loan. And uh, it is expected to take up very soon. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, one of the major challenges that has hindered the sustainable growth and development of microfinance and medium, micro, small and medium enterprise is lack of entrepreneurial skills on the part of the operators. 
This, I believe, is not only peculiar to Sokoto State, but has become a global phenomenon. As part of efforts to address this challenge, the Sokoto State Government to lose some source maiden is collaborating with the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, to implement the Learning Initiative for Interfereneurs project in Sokoto State. UNIDO has already trained a master trainer and 10 other trainers who would be involved in the provision of business development support services to interpreneurs across the state. The partnership with UNIDO will also lead to the establishment of an entrepreneurship development center. The center will offer entrepreneurial skill development training to entrepreneurs to enable them effectively manage their businesses.